another day in the vlog welcome 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 y'all it's your girl a mercedes if you are new here make sure you like comment and subscribe what's up y'all it is the start of a new vlog i have not talked to y'all and i don't know how long uh i miss y'all though like it's Life, life was life in this past uh, couple of weeks. Last time I talked to y'all was, um, unfortunately, when I was telling y'all that I was dealing with grief and just me dealing with grief and losing my cousin and um, seeing someone die, like, that was hard. Like, I did not know how I was going to pick up this camera and what I was going to say the next time I talked to y'all. Like, I tried so many different times and every time was like, I just don't know what to say. Every time I would just like, I would record something and then just be like, I'm just not in the mood. Like, I wouldn't continue through the day to just be like, I record something one day, one part of the day, and one pick up the camera again for the next couple of days. So I was just like, let me just scratch all that and just start completely fresh and completely new and just say, what's up, y'all? What's up? How y'all doing? How's life? How is, how your mama doing? How your brother doing? How your baby daddy doing? Tell him I said, hey. <laughs> Tell your baby daddy I said, hey. But I just went, I just got some packages. And I ordered me a juicer. Yeah, my Keisha, my Keisha told me about this juicer. I'm trying to see if I can show y'all without showing my address. Because they done ripped the box up. But, oh, got this juicer. It's going to be backwards because... Is it upside down? Oh, I bet. I got this juicer. It's a Big Mouth Classic Juicer. Y'all, my friend Keisha, I'm gonna I'm a insert the TikTok up in here, but Keisha told me about this damn juicer and my girl said she done lost about 20 pounds in the last two weeks or something like that by just juicing watermelon and pineapple juice and she said she just been drinking it consistently and she said it tastes good but it makes you pee a lot because it's flushing you out now i do know pineapple juice is good for, for inflammation and like like when you swelling and stuff you, you know they tell you to drink pineapple juice watermelon juice i don't know too many benefits of that but this juice was only 35 dollars on amazon i'm gonna put the link somewhere in there and she made me bad. So I'm going, I don't have no fruit or anything. So I need to go to the store so I can get me some fruit so I can juice. Uh, I also bought this little squirt thingy party in the front. You can't see my ass. And I hope you can't see my ass in the back when I wear this. But I just bought that. And I got some stuff that I got from Fashion Over that I am taking back. Yes, y'all. I am taking something back. This shit is being returned. I told you I got to stop wasting money. I be buying stuff and just keeping it. Mm-mm. Not no more. I'm, I'm finna turn into a return girl. So, I need to... Pro I don't know how to process no Fashion Over return. I don't know if they give you your money back. I don't know if they give you a store credit. Like... I don't know what the I don't know what the process is, but we gon' we gonna find out. But yeah. So um well I don't have anything going on today. Like at all. At all, at all. Don't have nothing going on. Don't have nothing that I'm doing. I just wanted to make sure that I picked up the camera. Well, y'all know I went to the gym this morning, so Got my little workout in, but other than that, I really don't have 
anything else going on for today. So I just wanted to get on here and say hello and let y'all know I do miss y'all and let y'all know I am so sorry that I have not been available, that I have not been talking to y'all, that I have not been vlogging, but life been life and, and I just couldn't find myself picking up this motherfucking camera and saying anything to y'all. Like I had nothing, like absolutely nothing to say. But yeah, but I did post a uh, a TikTok and I posted a real. And I just, I just didn't want, I didn't, I just didn't want to take y'all with me. I just didn't, didn't even know what we were going to do, but, and I was off work. I was off work literally from July 3rd through July 10th. That's how many days I was off from work. So, so in the midst of that, um, we had funeral. Um, we had that going on and spending time with family. And that was it. I just, I just couldn't do it. I just didn't have anything in me to pick up this camera and talk to y'all. But I'm back. I'm back. And I'm here. And y'all gonna spend the weekend with me. Y'all saw me go to the gym already. So, yay, we made it. I'm gonna set this juicer up. First, I gotta buy some damn fruit. Okay, so we gonna go get some fruit. Then we gonna set the juicer up and we gonna juice our little juice. We gonna try it our juicer thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let me get it together. Let me get myself back in the rhythm of what it is that I do in this whole YouTube vlogging world. Because if y'all can't tell, I'm still completely just kind of out of it. So let's get it together, Indian. I'm going to pick y'all back up once we start getting the juice and everything together. And we're going to go from there. Look at the beast. Got me out here walking an untrained dog. Go ahead, Rucka. Dallas then ran off. This dog, look, he is dragging me. Rocco, breathe. He gonna pee on everything. Hi, Dally. Hi, mama. Hi, my Dally. Y'all missed each other. He gonna pee 18 times. Look, there's a tree. There's a tree. Ain't nothing even coming out. Take him for a run. run? Yeah, like he did Dally. Dally, Dally. How do you get the dogs to walk with you? Dallas. She want to run because she see him running. Yeah, Dally tied. Dally, you tied, Mama. She tied. It's a wrap for her. Look at Rocco done sit down. Look at Rocco sitting. Tell her to get y'all out that grass. There might be ticks in there. Come in the street. Come on, Rocco. You tied, Dally. Rocco, get your ass out that grass. Rocco, get up. Y'all, they tired. These dogs are wore out. I gotta be conscious on how I be holding the camera. <laughs> I'm sure I might come in it. Y'all, they tired though. They done walk, they done huffing and heaving and heaving and hollering. <sighs> Hopefully when we get home, they, sit, they, they drink some water and sit the fuck down. Cause I'm tired. I am tired. <laughs> I didn't, this walk wasn't even part of the plan, but we made it the plan for today, I guess. Oh my God, good morning. Good, 
good morning guys oh it is hot it's hot it is hot it is hot good morning y'all happy saturday it's a day a new day i am leaving the gym right now and it is hot as hell outside y'all know here in chicago we only have five minutes of summer and right now we are in the middle of a heat wave so the summer is summering like i am hot as hell right now jesus christ i am hot oh, jesus christ but i am on my way to the store i need to go get me some watermelon and some ginger and some pineapple so that we can bust down my juicer that i got from amazon but only $35. So, the, I went to Whole Foods first because I was looking for a seeded watermelon. You know, anything that's real fruit and vegetables have seeds. They grow from seeds. So, when people be eating seedless watermelons, please know, or any type of seedless fruit, please know it's not real. But anyway, you would think going to Whole Foods that I would be able to get a seeded watermelon. No. No. Whole Foods does not have seeded watermelon. They only have seedless watermelon. So my question is, how is stuff at Whole Foods organic and healthy if they got fruit with no seeds? So, yeah. It was like $6 at Whole Foods for a seedless watermelon. And the pineapples was really small, so I was just like, listen, if I'm going to pay all this money for a seedless watermelon, I may as well just go to Walmart. Might as well just go to Walmart and get the fake fruit from Walmart. So, that's what I'm about to do, y'all. That's what I'm about to do so we can get this day started. I'm going to put my seatbelt on. I just safe than sorry, right? But anyway, yeah. Guess what? Guess what it is. I just realized it just dawned on me that this month I cannot come figure out what the exact date is. But this month we are celebrating my vlogiverse vlogiversary. It's the anniversary of me vlogging again consistently. So I've been consistently vlogging. For one full year so for the past 12 months I've put out at least two videos per month or at least no I put out four videos per month yeah for the last 12 months I have put out four videos because right now I'm at 48 videos so that's four so yay <laughs> Round of applause to me for being a consistent vlogger. Let me tell y'all something. Vlogging is not for the week. It is not for the week. I say this all the time. Like, you got to be consistent. You got to be engaging. You got to open yourself up to people out here that don't like you, that's just watching you to say something negative about you. It is it's a whole nother type of beast when you out here in these YouTube streets, in these social media streets, in these real and shorts and TikTok streets. It's something. But yay me. Just wanted to acknowledge the fact that I have been consistently vlogging for the past 12 months. I'm so proud of myself. Like, so proud of myself. I never, like, people who know me, I say this all the time, be like, I can't even believe you're doing that because you're so secretive. You're so private. Like, you don't even, you don't even really even talk to people like that. So, I be like, listen, sometimes you got to step out your shell. And plus, I'm talking to people that can't talk back. So, nobody's giving me weird vibes when I'm just talking to my camera. I'm just, you know, just basically like just and just talking to myself that's basically what it what it kind of feels like and i don't know it works for me it works it's been it's been cool i like it i like it i, I don't i don't regret anything about my 
12 month, one year blog of how do you say it? Blog anniversary? Vlog anniversary. I don't regret anything about my vlog vlog anniversary journey or my vlogging journey. Or does vlog anniversary even need to be in there? Anyway. Anyway. Okay, so I just got back in the car. Just left Walmart, just left Target, just left Jewel, just left another store out here called Tony's Fresh Market, and nobody has seeded watermelon. So I will be juicing with, um, I guess, uh, laboratory-grown watermelon. It say the watermelon that I bought is say made in Mexico. Yeah. So I as much as I'm trying to have a healthy experience and be healthy and blah blah blah, there is no real fruit that's grown here in America anymore. So at this point I just need to start a farm, grow a farm, make my own fruit and vegetables or whatever, and harvest my own cows and chickens because nothing nothing is real anymore. Everything is fake. But whatever, I'm going to go home with my fake fruit and make me a fake healthy drink, and we're just going to pray for the best. That's all we can do is pray for the best because... The United States just wants to get rich on us being diabetic and high blood pressure and hypertension and cancer and everything else because they don't want us to eat real food. That's that's just what I came up with. So let me just go home and start from there and make my fake juice drink and hopefully we're going to pray that it don't kill me. That's all we got. Yeah, it's me. I am back. Um, let me turn off my camera. So I have unboxed the um the juicer. That zoom in. Okay. So I've unboxed this juicer. I've cut up the watermelon and the pineapples that I am going to juice. Oh, oh. Alright, so I cut up the watermelon and the pineapple that I am going to juice. I unboxed the juicer. It was already put together, so I didn't record anything because as soon as I took it out the box, the only thing I had to do was rip it out the plastic. But I'll put the link in terms of which one it is. Let me show y'all what it looked like. So this is the juicer. Pretty simple and basic, I guess. It just came with... It gives you like the instructions on how to take it apart. And then it comes with this little pamphlet. And this thing was only, like I said, $35 on Amazon. I don't know if y'all remember when I said this, but the girl who Markeisha had sent me the TikTok for, she had been juicing watermelon and pineapple. And she was like, it was making her use the bathroom a lot. It was making her having to pee and poop a lot and all that and Markeisha say Markeisha said she done lost about 15 20 pounds in in the past two weeks just by juicing so yeah I know we gonna try it out so I'm gonna put it together and then let's see let's see if it works all right so let me get all my stuff close so, oh, it came with this brush too, I guess, to clean it out. Now, I've been scared of juices because I feel like juices are very messy. I've heard that they're very messy, but we don't see. I'm going to turn it so y'all can see. Oh, you can't even see the stuff going in anyway. But Okay, so that's the cup. And I'm going to turn it on. Can y'all see the cup?
broke up quick. I wasn't even paying attention. Shit, damn it, I done made a mess. Dang, that filled up quick. Okay, so now I know I need to pay attention. God dang, that was quick. Okay, let me... Uh, what the top thing? What do I do with the thing that go on the top? Dang, I had to hurry up and grab a picture because I didn't know that that was going to fill up so fast. So this is what I got so far. Yeah, I didn't even rinse this out. I just grabbed some so quick. But oh well, this is how much I got so far. So we just going to keep this right here because we going to have to keep going. And okay, take out a piece. Okay, let's keep going. Is it in there? Okay. making a mess oh hell no i am making such a mess i just got a little fruit left i'm gonna just go ahead and do this and finish it because i am making such a mess oh my god this is so ri ridiculous this is messy yeah that was messy um now i know i need to watch it but it was so messy. Now I just feel like I need to clean all this stuff up right now. Like, I don't like this. I feel like I'm half flies in my house with these damn sweet ass fruit. I haven't even tasted it yet because I'm so irritated. So let's taste it. Let's see what this stuff tastes like. I probably need like a strainer because it looks very pulpy. Let's see. I don't know what's bad. Okay, I need a straw. Oh, this is good. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. This is really good. Okay. I like it. Let me show y'all the, the TikTok video that Markeisha sent me and what inspired this. All right, y'all. So the other day I ran across this guy's TikTok page and he was like, drink a gallon a day uh, for 30 days of watermelon pineapple. And I'm like, ain't no way. And I'm gonna just tell you why ain't no way because I am on a uh, drink number two and I have lived in the bathroom. So I don't know if y'all need to cut some water away or something like that, but this would definitely be the juice to try for this recipe. It is one watermelon and then two pineapples. This juice is actually really amazing. You guys, I drank one bottle um, yesterday and then today I'm already on juice too, like I said, but thank goodness I work from home because I I have been living in my bathroom. Um, I actually bought two watermelons and four pineapples. So uh, for the second set of ingredients, I was able to get it all chopped up and I'm gonna be juicing those later tonight. Hey y'all, it is later in the day and I just took KM to one of her favorite stores, Sephora. <laughs> uh, I had some gift cards, but they were my gift cards, but I still ended up spending it on her. Go figure. But yeah, so now we just gonna, I don't know what we about to do. We finna, our is low. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's like sitting in the, sitting in a rocket. Where we about to go now? Uh, you hungry? We're about to go get something to eat now, so. Did you want to go shoot pool still? Oh yeah, well that's what we about to do. We about to go shoot some pool.